Hey there! Thank you for clicking on my video. I really appreciate it. So today I'm going to be scrapping these power tools and we'll figure out how much they're worth as they are versus how much they're worth scrapping. So that sander is worth 40 cents. The hedge trimmer is worth 42 cents. The drill is worth 44 cents. And then the circular saw is worth a dollar 25 and that is two dollars and 51 cents for all of this all right let's find out how much these things are worth scrapping so we'll start with the sander here and all these tools were dead they they're just scrap let's get this cord off of there and I'll get the brass out of that. More shred. And this piece, we got our first piece of cast aluminum. Okay, let's have a look inside. So there we are. Just remove all these pieces from here. That's just garbage. That'll go shred. Now we just need to clean up some of this grease. Just clean up the best you can. Try to make it as clean as possible. You don't want them to downgrade you because of the grease. And we'll just check around here to make sure there's nothing magnetic. There shouldn't be, but always good to check and now that piece is all clean ready to go you just got a piece of steel right here and this piece is all clean all right now we need to now we need to get this piece of aluminum off there, and I think we can just drive this down. So I'll set that in the vise. That wasn't too hard at all. All right, we got that clean. And then this piece right here, and actually just slides off. That is gonna be a piece of brass. Now we got the motor. Looks like we got another piece of bronze there. That's nice. And that one looks like it's gonna be magnetic, and it is. Now we have the armature. I have a video showing you how to do these. They're not always easy or fun, and you don't increase the value that much more. So today we're just going to sell them as electric motors. Let's see if this is copper. Definitely copper, so that's good. And these brush holders here 
Got some brass in here. Usually you can clean them up. If not, then they could just go into dirty brass. There it goes. Okay, that was easy. Now that's just garbage. And that is brass. A little switch in here with a little bit of brass in there. We want to get this motor. And I like to rest the handle on the bench and just push down. Save on the wrist a little bit. Instead of squeezing, just pushing. And there's two. Now my yard will buy this stuff as prepared number one steel. Some yards won't, so then it would just go under the shred. So today we'll just call it shred. And there is everything from that sander. Now we'll do a final tally at the end with everything. That's just garbage. And much like the other one. And just like the other one, just got to clean up the grease and then that piece is clean. Get the brushes off of there. Got that piece of steel. And then again, clean the grease. And then that piece would be clean. Another bronze. That's nice. Clean off that grease just a little bit on that. Again, another piece of bronze, so that's nice. And another motor. We will check to see if it's copper. It's definitely copper. Probably have to take that to the vise as well. Oh, well, maybe. Kind of looks like it wants to come. Yeah. Well, maybe not. Yeah, we'll just finish that off in the vise. I didn't show you the switch on the other one. I'll just show you this one real quick. Nothing spectacular. We'll just open that up. 
spring came out. That's all shred. That little piece that came off is copper. And then these pieces are brass. You can fiddle around with trying to remove them. What I like to do is I just trim off some of this cardboard here. And then now that can just go into dirty brass. Got a little brass connector right there. Sometimes these springs, and like that one, it's not magnetic. It's not magnetic. And they are either going to be brass or they're going to be copper. And that one, that looks like it's actually copper, which is interesting. And there's a quick look at everything from the hedge trimmer. All right, now time for the drill. That is all garbage, unfortunately. And that is definitely prepared steel. Same with that. And then this is going to be magnetic, so that's all shred. There's our armature. And more garbage. Some nice brass brush holders. Just got to get that spring out of there. And that looks like it's going to be magnetic, and it is. We got some good brass. Another one of those switches. Let's make sure this one is copper as well, and it is, so three out of three, not too bad. What is that piece? Hmm, I don't know. As you can see, they're all kind of basically the same idea. That circular saw, that's going to be a little bit more involved of a scrap down. These ones were all just so kind of the same. I definitely don't want to bore y'all. I am actually, I hope you are, but I'm very curious to see the difference in value between selling them a shred versus scrapping this out, especially this drill, because of all that heavy plastic. Well, I don't think it's actually plastic. I think it's more like a Bakelite material. Either way, it's garbage. There we go. 
Didn't need to go to the vise on this one. Make sure we get all that copper out of there. That one was much better. We'll just kind of ball these stragglers together. And there's a quick look at everything from that drill. It's now time for this big old saw. And that was reverse threads. Out of the way. I need to get that off. Let's see. Okay, we got a nut right there. Cool. That nut came off. Oh, where'd you come from? It's magnetic. Oh, that came from right there. Now maybe the screw. See if we can just pound that screw. I don't understand why it won't come out. Well, anyways, we'll get back to that in a little bit. Okay, get these screws out of here. And that's a nice piece of cast aluminum, which is which is already clean. Then we got the switch mechanism in here. And that piece is clean. Although I want to clean off a little bit of this, whatever this black stuff is, just to make it a little nicer looking. Cool, that's clean. And then there's the switch. Open up these brushes. And that, that piece is magnetic. That piece is not. And that is actually going to be stainless. Pull that off. The rest of that is clean stainless. And then there's the brush.
Okay. Okay, so what's next here? Get that piece of steel out of my way. Now that should Now that piece should pound off. That is a piece of clean cast aluminum. I think it's just a tight fit. We have to just kind of work it around. It's coming. There we go. Cool. Now that is clean. I kind of like these challenging ones that it's like, it really makes you think on how to get it disassembled. That's a piece of steel. Okay, what else do we got down in here? There we go. Well, it's separated, but it doesn't want to be removed, so... Maybe we just need to pry it some more. Well, maybe we got ahead of ourselves. Okay. What is next? It's a big nut right there. Oh my gosh. There's oil on that. I, I thought that was just going to be grease. Put this oil absorb down and let that absorb. And then we can get back to trying to get that nut off of there. Got that broke free. More oil gonna come out. I was not prepared for all that oil. It's always been grease inside a circular saw, so that's something to keep in mind. Okay, we got those two screws off. Now that separated that, so we can work on that in a little bit. So I want to get that piece of cast aluminum off there. Should have a pretty good motor inside of here. Let's get these screws off. couple more. Yep. So we'll just break those free with the old manual screwdriver. Okay. 
Okay. Got those out. Yeah. It's coming. Just have to... There we go. So we got part of the motor in there. And then here's the armature. Looks like this piece unthreads somehow. I don't know if that's going to help us. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That piece is aluminum. Just got to clean off some of the oil out of that. There we go. So there's the nut holding the armature in. So there we go. I'm going to have to hold the armature. Cool. That came out. Now... There we go. We got that out. Cool. That's a pretty good size armature. It's not fun dealing with oil. There we go. Oh, wow. Is that a brass gear? That, I believe, is a brass gear. How does it come off? I don't know. So we got that out, but will we be able to get that piece of brass? Because I'm sure it's pressed on there and I don't have a hydraulic press. I think we just did it. But yeah, that is really cool. We'll start with that bearing. So if you're at this point and you don't want to deal with these bearings, then you can just sell that as dirty aluminum. Okay, that came out. Nothing sticks there. So far, so good. It's this bearing that I'm not sure about. See if this will help hold that. Try a bigger punch. Does not seem to be wanting to budge. Oh, I think I just uncovered some some screws. Oh, look at that. There's three screws here covered in sawdust. Oh, man, that's tight. Here comes one. Oh, I think that's going to let that bearing come out. That would be great because this is a pretty nice chunk of cast aluminum. I'd hate to have to sell it for dirty. Yeah, like I mentioned, I've done smaller circular saws. Nothing really big like this, I, so I wasn't sure what to expect. Definitely was not expecting all that oil. Piece of steel. And there we go. Now that bearing will come out. Oh, my thumb. Oh, my thumb.
I still have my thumb, but oh my gosh. Oh, don't try this at home, kids. Oh, man. Oh. Well, bearings are out. Oh, my gosh. And now that is clean. It only cost me my thumb. Okay, now that piece is clean. Now we just need to deal with this, with the motor in there. wants to Let me clip some of these wires I think maybe there might be a hold on up to show in here let's see here coming there we are so we got our motor we got to clean the brushes off see if we can do this without hitting my thumb <laughs> there's one so once we get that piece of steel off of there that'll be clean we got the motor. Maybe we can just crunch it. Oh, there we go. Just crunch it. That works. And the clean brass. Now we need to get that piece of steel out of there and I'm hoping it'll just unthread. Tighten that down and then looks like it's just going to There we go. Now that is all clean. Then now we have the motor here and I think the way I'll do this one And we still have this piece with the cast aluminum on there. I have spent way too long on this. Look at that. I, <laughs> I don't know. All right, there's a quick look at everything from that circular saw. Now let me get all the numbers calculated and I'll get back to y'all. Okay, we'll start with the sander, which was 40 cents a shred. So now we have one pound, 12.6 ounces of steel for 13 cents. We have one ounce of brass for 12 cents. 2.15 ounces of copper for 40 cents. We have an electric motor, 6.95 ounces for 10 cents. And then five and a half ounces of insulated wire for 27 cents. 
and now that is worth two dollars and thirteen cents and now for the hedge trimmer this was 42 cents a shred we have 1.2 ounces of insulated wire for six cents 2.15 ounces of copper for 40 cents 1.65 ounces of brass for 20 cents the electric motor seven and a half ounces for 11 cents two pounds 11 ounces of steel for 19 cents and two pounds 1.7 ounces of cast aluminum for 90 cents and now that is a dollar 86 and now for the drill and that was 44 cents a shred so we've got the electric motor 9.65 ounces for 15 cents two pounds 3.35 ounces of steel for 16 cents 4.25 ounces of insulated wire for 21 cents 0.35 of an ounce of brass for four cents and three ounces of copper for 56 cents and now that is a dollar 12. all right now time for the circular saw and that was a dollar 25 is shred so we have insulated wire 2.1 ounces for 10 cents we have seven pounds 13 ounces of steel for 57 cents four pounds eight ounces of cast aluminum for a dollar 93 that was really nice and then two pounds nine ounces for an electric motor for 64 cents we have 10 ounces of copper for a dollar 87 and then there is seven ounces of brass for 85 cents that gear alone weighs 4.4 ounces all by itself so that was worth going after and so that is a grand total of five dollars and 96 cents and now there is all of the good metals and everything that we recovered so it was two dollars and 51 cents shredding all of that and now it's a grand total of eleven dollars and seven cents for all of that so now you'll know what to expect if you want to decide to do it or not i had fun even though i smashed my thumb <laughs> but no in all seriousness it wasn't too bad and it, and it was fun and it does all add up well that is going to conclude today's video Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to everybody who gave me prayers and well wishes i'm feeling a lot better and i just thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of that it just really means so much to me you all are just so absolutely amazing i feel so blessed and so fortunate that you all have chosen my channel and we're growing together we're we're just having a really great time and i just thank you from the bottom of my heart and God, I just want to thank you for everybody, Lord, for everybody who's watching this video right now, Lord, and for everybody, even if they turned away early. Lord, I just thank you for every single one of them, God. And I ask you, Lord, that you will please bless them, Lord. Just please bless them with abundance, God. And I just thank you for who you are and for everything that you do. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. All right, my friends, until next time. God bless you.